Come on. Aye, God's name, once more towards our fathers. Good Lord, how bright and goodly shines the moon. The moon and the sun, it is not moonlight now. I say it is the moon that shines so bright. I know it is the sun that shines so bright. Now, by my mother's son, and that's myself, it shall be moon or star, or what I list, or ere I journey to your father's house. Go on and fetch our horses back again, ever more crossed and crossed, nothing but crossed. Says he says we may never Lord, go, I pray, since we have come so far, and be it moon or sun or whatever you please. And if you please to call it a rush candle, henceforth I vow it shall be for me. I say it is the moon. I know it is the moon. Nay, then you lie, it is the blessed then sun. Then God be blessed, it is the blessed sun. But sun it is not, when you say it is not. And moon changes even as your mind. What you will have it named, even that it is, and so it shall be for Catherine. Petruccio, go thy way. The field is won. Well, forward, forward. Thus the bull should run. And not unluckily against the biased, but soft. Company is coming here. Good morrow, gentle mistress. Where away? Tell me, sweet Kate, and tell me truly, too. Hast thou beheld a fresher gentlewoman? Such war, of wa such war of red and white within her cheeks. What stars do spangle heaven with such beauty as those two eyes become that heavenly face? Fair lovely maid, once more good day to thee. Sweet Kate, embrace her for her beauty's sake. He will make the man mad to make a woman out of him. Young budding virgin, fair and fresh and sweet, whither away, or where is thy abode? Happy the parents of so fair a child. Happier the man whom favorable stars allot thee for his lovely bed. Why, how now, Kate? I hope thou art not mad. This is a man, old, wrinkled, faded, withered, and not a maiden, as thou sayest he is. Pardon, old father, my mistaking eyes, that have been so bedazzled with the sun, that everything I look on seemeth green. Now I perceive thou as the reverend father. Pardon, I pray thee, for my mad mistaking. Do, good old grandsire, and withal made known, which way thou travelest, if along with us we shall be joyful of thy company. Ready? Fair sir, and you, my merry mistress, that with your strange encounter much amazed me, my name is called Vincentio, from my dwelling Pisa, and bound I am to Padua, there to visit a son of mine, which long have I not seen. What is his name? Lucentio. Happily met, the happier for thy son, and now, by law as well as reverend age, I may entitle thee my loving father, the sister to my wife, this gentlewoman, thy son by this half married. Wonder not, nor be grieved, she is of good esteem, her dowry wealthy and of worthy birth. Besides, so qualified as may beseem, the spouse of any noble gentleman. Come, go along and see the truth hereof, for our first merriment hath made thee jealous. Well, Patricio, this has put me in heart, to have my widow, and if she be forward, then thou hast taught Hortensio to be unto. 